All right, so what's going on? What is this thing we have built? So this is our camera rig. This is our, going to be our scanning station. We've set up 18 cameras and we're now going to let Danny go through it and take our first test shoot. All right, so yeah, so we're just testing if everything works it's, and stuff. Yeah, So a lot of um, wiring going on here. Yeah, it's so clean, so yes. neat. It's neat, perfect. Everything is as it should be. So we will use this to gain like these photorealistic characters that we will then use in the game. And yeah. if everything goes according to plan, maybe then it will be in the prototype. Yeah, so this is like the finished version of the photogrammetry rig then? Uh, or? No, it's an early build. We're using 18 cameras now. Hopefully by the end of the year we will have 30 cameras, then maybe more. All right, cool. Interesting. Atheist, can you tell me what's been happening today? Um, what's going on behind this? <laughs> well, we have a uh, whole like primary school grade of eighth, eighth graders, ninth graders, ninth graders, ninth graders, yeah. Ninth graders yeah. yeah, and they're just here to learn about what we do and how we make video games, what goes into the process, like environments and, and characters and photo scanning. I don't know how much interest they have in, in arts and, and creative stuff, but. Yeah. So it's been good, or yeah, yeah it's been, well. It's going good, yeah. Woo, woo. Woo. All right, David, can you tell us what's happening? I'm, uh, I'm directing Quistin's graduation film. Quistin uh, is one of the main actors in the. Uh, in the dark in the game. So is it like a big movie or a short movie or? It's a short movie. It's it's probably gonna end up being about 20 minutes long. Okay. Uh, so my movie is about uh, an Icelandic man who believes that he's half Italian or tries to uh, tell people that. Uh, and he's putting up a show in a theater, which is like uh, his imagination how like uh, Al Capone mafia so like, uh, or like how that life is. Um, and everything's going wrong, it's premiere night, and my character has like uh, changed the script in the last moments. So, yeah. Hey, so what's your job here at the shoot? Um, I don't know what to call it in English. You're a script supervisor. I'm a script, script supervisor. supervisor. So Which, you're doing uh, that now, right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, come help me with my movie. Dali said, be a script supervisor. It's a glamorous life. So you're doing it for what, graduation? Graduation, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, from the uh, active department in uh, the Icelandic Film School. Uh, we're, we're done sometime tonight. By the time it gets dark, I think we're wrapping up. And we'll be back here tomorrow for another, uh, at least another 12 hours. And then we finish up on Monday, which is, so, so it's a four day shoot. Four day shoot, all right, sounds cool. Good luck. Thank you. All right, Dori, so uh, can you tell us what you have on your screen right uh, now? Oh yeah, so uh, this is the result of our first pilot scan with uh, Daniel, our developer and co-founder. And so what we are seeing here is the all the blue dots on the screen here represent uh, one angle of uh, Daniel, which we got from our camera. From these angles, we were able to reconstruct like a point cloud and it kind of tries to put together what one photograph sees and what the other one sees and then it joins the point. So we need overlap between the photographs 
to kind of connect the dots. So this is the cloud, which doesn't really look like much right now, but from this early cloud, we kind of clean that up a bit and make sure we have some good data. And we process that into a much, much denser cloud. And this is not a mesh. This is just like, if I zoom in way in here, you can see that this is still just some points in the middle of the air. Our pallet scan was a giant success and that our configuration is actually working. So from that, we process out a full 3D model. Data is absolutely beautiful. Biggest thing about the rig that we're using is that uh, with so many cameras, we're actually able to capture uh, expression ranges as well. And I can show you, we have another scan over here with uh, Daniel making a really angry face. And we can use this to generate uh, maps and such for like a full expression range for this character within the game. You know, our rig works, it does what it has to do for us to generate uh, a lot of characters really quickly for the game. So this is like a topo uh, topology, which is animation ready. That means that when we record uh, people's faces and expressions, now uh, that will be able to move this mesh and this mesh won't, uh, you know, lag within the game engine. Uh, it's still, it's missing a few maps, but uh, eventually uh, we generate a denser mesh as well. And from this mesh, we might use it for up closes and cinematics, but also to, you know, to work on in sculpting software such as Cypress and so forth. So, uh, you know, you can see how just uh, by uh, projecting the texture from the scan onto a topology ready mesh, we're able to generate something that's completely usable within the engine once we add some maps to add surface detail and, you know, lighting information.